Hello everyone, welcome to Gnoming with Logan. I mean, welcome to Crafting with Logan. Uh, my name's Logan and today we're going to be making very cute bearded sock gnomes. Uh, these are great for shelves, dressers as decorations, either seasonally or non-seasonally. And I'd love to show you mine. I'm not sure, I'm not sure where, oh! I don't know how it got over there. Uh, Here's my little gnome that I made, and I'm gonna show you how to make one sort of just like it. Right, for this video, you're gonna need uh, your rice, uh, a sock to put the rice in, a elastic to close up the sock, you're gonna need a hot glue gun for the hat and for gluing everything on, uh, you've got your beard here, uh, your little wooden nose, we've got an extra glue stick for the glue gun, uh, you'll also need a pom-pom for the top of the hat, Need a large piece of help for the hat itself, as well as a smaller piece for any sort of accents that you want. And you'll probably need some scissors too. Uh, hey, hey, get out of my chair! What the, I don't know, I don't know how we got there. All right guys, so first you'll want to put your rice in a cup like this, and then you'll want to wrap your sock around the cup. Then all you have to do is turn it upside down and slowly pull the cup out and let the rice fall into the sock. Then all you've got to do is sort of uh, fold your sock knot inward like this, just so that we get rid of a lot of the excess sock that isn't being used. You want to take your elastic band and tie it around just knotting it a bunch of times so that it gets nice and tight. Now this top will be covered by the hat, so there's no worries if it's sort of popping out a bit. Then you want to plug in your glue gun, load it up with some glue, and remember always be very careful uh, with tools like this. The uh, glue is, is very hot, uh, very molten, so Either get an adult or make sure that your fingers are nowhere near the glue itself. And then you just want to glue shut uh, whatever tiny hole there is left. Uh, honestly, mine's pretty hard to find, uh, but you can see I've got a little hole there and I'm just gonna sort of touch it up with some extra hot glue just to make sure we don't get any renegade rice heading out of there. Once that's all done, we've got the base of our sock gnome. Now we need to make the hat. So the easiest way to make the hat is to glue along this long side of our large piece of felt here, glue upon the long side, leaving the shorter side unglued, and then once it's nice and dry, we're gonna turn it inside out. Again, carefully, uh, you're just gonna want to run your hot glue alongside one edge of your uh, felt. Remember that long edge? And hot glue dries quickly, so you're going to want to fold this in half right away. And just lightly sort of press on it to make sure that it sticks. You don't want to press too hard or else you're going to get a bit of a burn from that hot glue. Now that our edge is nice and dry, uh, you want to very carefully sort of start at the top. Uh, put your hand inside the hat and sort of start to, to push in if you can. We're gonna try to very carefully, try to very carefully turn this inside out. Once you get the tip in, it's not so hard. You kind of have to fold it like this and sort of force it down into itself. And eventually uh, you're gonna be able to turn it inside out. As you can see, now we've got it pushed in. And now you can kind of just very carefully, you know, make sure your glue is dried and just very carefully turn it inside out. And look at that, we've got the basis for our gnome hat. Next, we're going to want to make some adjustments for our gnome hat. So as you can see right now, here's our gnome. 
and at our full sort of thickness, the hat is going to cover up the entire gnome. So what we want to do is take our hat and see we've got that seam from when it was uh, right side in. Now we want to take this and uh, sort of fold it in. See like that, it's normally like that. Take it, fold it in, and then see what sort of uh, a width fits your sock gnome. So that's looking kind of good. Maybe I want it a little bit tighter. I'll readjust to something like that. I'll test it with my gnome again. Ah, well, I think that fits quite well. So once you get your hat uh, sort of fitting the way that you like it, sort of sitting snug on his head, uh, you're gonna want to save that folding location, and then we've got some more gluing to do. So just like before, be careful with your hot glue gun, have it plugged in. I've got my seam uh, sort of saved here, and then I'm just going to go in with my hot glue, and it's a little hard to see, but again, run some glue along my seam, and then press it in where I want it. This way now I've got a hat that fits on nicely to my gnome. See that seam is now glued in there, and my hat fits quite nicely. Also do some other touch-up gluing. Uh, as you can see, we've got the hat looks nice from many angles, but this is sort of looking a little rough here where we turned it inside out. So again, you can take your hot glue, uh, sort of run it along the seam there. Ooh. And then sort of close it up. That way we'll just have a hat that looks a little bit nicer. Now instead of a, a large gap, we've sort of just got a, a small seam. And get to the... <sighs> I was trying to say, now it's time for the fun part, which is adding our gnome's features like the beard and the nose. So first you sort of want to decide where you want your beard and nose to go exactly. So what I like to do is I like to tuck my beard under my hat because that way you don't see the seams on the top of the beard and then sort of see how my nose looks in that configuration. Hmm, well that looks kind of cute. I kind of like the way that that looks. So once you know how you want to glue it, all there is to do is glue. What I like to do is hold my beard in the place that I just had it and then fold over one seam and start gluing. You actually don't need a ton of glue for this one. The beard is gonna stick pretty well if you just get to the top, steam, uh, top seams. Now try not to glue any of the hair like I just did there. Um, of course, like uh, any bad haircut, you can always cut some of the hair out. Once you've got one side glued and dried, then you can move on to the other side. And you can sort of just glue again this part of the seam. Again, try not to get any hair in there like I am. Ah. And then glue along the bottom as well, where the nose is gonna go. And next is the nose. Now, just the same thing. Uh, put your nose where you would put the nose. But um, instead of just placing it on the sock, I want you to sort of push it into the sock, uh, making a sort of little divot or hole for it to sit in. Not only is this going to sort of uh, look a lot better with the structure of the gnome's face, uh, it's gonna help with keeping the nose to stick there when you glue it. So once you've got the... How does he keep appearing? Guys, this gnome is starting to freak me out. Let's just finish the video. Way. So once you have your nose divot decided on, uh, all you want to do is take your nose, 
Place a little bit of hot glue on the side that you're going to uh, glue in. And be careful not to get any on you. And then just take your sock gum and place it on there. See, and it sort of has a little place to sit in the divot there. You just gotta press on it for a couple seconds and it should be good. Now, once you've got the nose glued on, uh, you can actually glue on your hat. Now, you don't have to glue on your hat if you don't want to, um, but I sort of like it um, just to make sure that it's covering up those seams of the beard. So, all I'm gonna do actually is just glue at the top of my beard here. Doing my best not to get any of the hair in there. And then I'm going to set my hat on top and just sort of very carefully glue my hat to the beard. Getting it glued to the beard is sort of the most important part, but if you want, you can glue it in the back too. For our finishing touch, we're just going to glue the pom-pom onto the top of the hat here. Uh, that way it kind of adds a nice little detail. It looks really cute. Same as usual. You just want to take the part of the pom-pom you're going to be gluing to the top of the hat. I mean, it's a sphere. You can choose any part you want. And you're just going to want to uh, put a bunch of hot glue down there. Okay. Then you're just going to set it onto the top of your hat and hold it there for maybe a whole minute and make sure the part that you hot glued is touching the hat. Having some trouble getting the pom-pom to stick. Uh, you can sort of just go around the pom-pom as you like, sort of pulling back certain parts, uh, gluing them, holding them down, and just doing the same thing all the way around. But eventually you'll get it to stick. Now at this point, you've uh, practically finished your gnome. Um, it's looking pretty cute. I love it. It would look great on a shelf, but there's a few extra things you can do to sort of customize it. So one thing I like to do is actually give the hat a bit of a bend. Uh, this sort of just makes our gnome look more gnome-like. Uh, all you have to do is sort of fold the hat in half, and then when you realize where the crease is of your fold, uh, you can hot glue that and your fold will stay forever. It looks a little something like this. Now if you want to customize them further, you can do what I did with my little sneaky gnome over here. And what I did was I gave him a, a little bit of a mask, sort of to stay safe during the pandemic. And I accidentally got some glue up here, so I actually cut out the initials of my name and glued them onto the hat. For the mask, all I did was sort of cut out a rough square shape out of the center uh, for the actual front of the mask. Then I cut along these sides into strips to make for uh, the strings of the mask. Then all I did was sort of uh, figure out how long I needed the strings to be, and then I just glued them under the mask and behind his ears. Uh, I had some extra scraps left, so I cut out of a circle and made some little strips to represent one of those little uh, breathing ports on the masks. For the letters, I did very much the same thing. I just took some scraps of felt, uh, cut them into pieces, uh, made them into letters and hot glued them onto my hat. So of course there are limitless possibilities of things you can do with your sock gnome, but I think I'm going to try to make him a little banner actually. So I've got a skewer that I've broken in half and I'm actually going to just puncture his side here. Sorry guy. And then I think I'm just gonna cut out a sort of triangular banner. Something like that. And then I'm just gonna glue it on. And I've made my own little unique gnome. 
now that this guy's got a friend, maybe he'll finally stop bugging me. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our sock gnome video. I love how they turned out. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we'd love to see your finished product. So uh, send us your finished sock gnomes. Uh, we'd love to see how you customize them, how they turn out. Uh, and we'd love to add them to our gnome family. Uh, other than that, don't forget about our Nailed It contest this month. I want you to take a challenge and make it fun. Uh, take on something like a baked good or a craft, uh, make your own version of it and see how it stacks up. Uh, you can submit uh, either of those things to us on Facebook, uh, through text or over email. Uh, and until then guys, I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. All right, looks like that's a wrap. Just gotta go edit this thing. Do 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 do. Going to my computer. Gotta edit a video. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh. How'd they get here? They're teaming up. Oh no. Oh no.